We were at the Owensboro Humane Society. Uh, uh, I think somebody could take a guess. We're in the cat room. Yes, we're in the cat room. We're in Pickles Place. Pickles yes, Place. Is yes. that the nickname of this? That is. Room? Yep. Pickles it Place. It was named gotcha. after a cat that Carmel had. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is was just really nice. A lot of very friendly cats. I've already there made are. a few friends. You have. Did you say Lucky was the name of that one? Okay, cat? so Lucky, and then this is Boz, and he's a very friendly cat, also. Oh man! Yeah. I can see how you can fall in love with them. I you bet you can. do as a volunteer. I do. I do. I just I would love to take all of them home. They're all very sweet, and it's just great to volunteer and be able to come in here and just chill with all the cats, play with them, and mm. just clean their environment, basically. Right. Why is it that you volunteer? I understand you come here usually about once a week, yes. and, you, yes. and you deep clean this room. I do, I do. I bet it takes a long time. It does. It takes me about three or four hours mm -hmm. um, just cleaning, changing out the towels, litter boxes, mopping, you know, cleaning windows, that kind of thing, like you would do at home. But also, I mean, you have to get a, a pet in or two, you know, you can't right. just sit there clean. You got to love on them and, you know, just give them that attention and, and you can see they, they love it. Yeah. They love it. Right. Well, I'm a volunteer in training today, mm -hmm. so I get to help you clean. It yes. looks like yes. a mop bucket here. Yes, we're going to be mopping today. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Yeah. So I have mopped before, so I'm, okay. I'm going to guess that okay. you already got everything yes. ready to go. Yep. Thank you for preparing for me. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in here, wring it out. Looks like you're a professional already. I know it. <laughs> I've done this before, <laughs> and then I'm guessing I take it and just start mopping and yes, cleaning the floor, yes. trying to get up. Normally, like, we'll get under the chair, but it looks like we have a stowaway, so. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you would mop, I guess, the entire floor. We right? do. We mop the entire floor, the, the entryway out here, um, the litter room area. We'll clean those boxes and, and mop in there and... Yeah, I could yep. see how that would take you three or four it hours. It does. It does. That's so so good of you to volunteer your time to do this for mm -hmm. these cats. You must really love oh, animals. Oh, I do. Cats I in do. particular or all animals? I love all animals. I love uh, dogs, cats, you name it, anything. If, if they even had other animals here, like goats or whatever, I'd be out there with them too. Yeah, you're just <laughs> an animal up lover. <laughs> So all animal lovers out there watching the show right yes. now, would you encourage them to yes. volunteer at their local humane society? Exactly, exactly. I mean, you're not only interacting with these pets and, and learning about them and socializing. Each pet has a story that basically, you know, they've been through stuff. And it just is, is great for them to have a people interaction. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so not only are you yes. cleaning... You're uh, interacting with the animals, loving on them. Of course, of course. Making friends. <laughs> exactly. And, and all of these, uh, you know, they're so used to me coming up here over mm -hmm. the last three years. And, of course, when you walk in the door, they come up to you and, and just greet you. Like, you'll have all of them. Like, yay, she's here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> she's going to feed us treats. And, you know, she's going to love on us and pet us. Yeah, so, that's yeah. great. Yeah. How would you encourage other people? Maybe somebody out there watching, they're, maybe they're considering going to yeah. a place that, that helps animals, no matter if that's a humane society, wherever mm -hmm. that is. Yeah. What would you say to encourage them to get out and volunteer? Well, I would say, like me at first, I um, asked Carmel several times, hey, do you need volunteers? you need volunteers? And I just waited. And I shouldn't have waited. I should have just went ahead and, and did it um, right when I had that wound because it's just an amazing experience. And the best thing that you can do is contact your local Humane Society and just say, hey, I want to volunteer. I want to make a difference. Even if it's an hour or two going into that shelter and volunteering, mm -hmm. they always need help. Yeah, you I know? can imagine yes. all the animals. I mean, yes. we're just seeing the cats in here. Yeah. All the animals, I'm sure there's yes. always volunteer needs. There is. There's, you know, not only cleaning, but petting and socializing the pets. Um, Walking dogs, you know, mm -hmm. the the dogs love to be out of their, you know, kennels, just going for walks and and just having that interaction. So, 
um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, a great way to get yourself out in the community and, you know, make some animal friends. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much yes. for, for allowing me to hang out with you and, uh, and uh, training me as a volunteer yeah. and get, let me love on some of these cats. Yes. So uh, I'll tell you what, um, well, we'll keep getting busy here yeah. doing some more stuff. Exactly. Thanks, thanks again. Okay, thank you. Thank you.